Let's take a look at linear equations, find an equation in line using a T82 calculator. And let's look at our first problem. All these give us conditions and ask us to find an equation in line, slope intercept form. So this gives us two points. And it says find an equation in line that passes through the given points. Now this is pretty straightforward to do by hand. Um, why would you want to do it on the calculator? Well, it kind of leads into if you're going to do some linear modeling, kind of gets you into working with the different uh, places where you put your points, uh, how to find the equation line, and so forth. Well, let's take a look at where we're going to put our points. We'll press our stat button. We'll do enter on edit. And under L1, we're going to put our x values. So I got 3, enter, negative 4, enter. Then I'll write her over to L2, and this is where we'll put our y values. So I got 2, enter, 1, enter. And you should be able to see your points there. 3, 2, 3, 2. Negative 4, 1, negative 4, 1. Now we want to exit out, so we'll do second mode. And we're going to go back into stat, right arrow to calc, and I want to choose number 5, linear regression. So you just press the number that's in front of it, so I do 5, and then we press enter. <coughs> Okay, so we got uh, y is equal to ax plus b, and they tell us what a is. a is uh, 0.142857, b is 1.57, and so forth. We don't want decimals though, so we want to convert those fractions. Well, we're going to go into our vars button to find a and b, so I do vars. I want to choose 5 for statistics. I want to write her over to equation, and then I want to do enter on A. And then I'll do math, enter, enter. So that tells us A is 1 7th. So we've got Y is equal to 1 7th X. Now let's see what B is. So I'll press my bars, choose 5 for statistics, write her over to equation, and then I'll do 2 for B, and then I'll do uh, math, enter, enter. So that gives us 11 sevenths. And that's our answer. Okay, let's look at our second one. Here they give us a point, 4, 5, and they tell us m is equal to 1 half. And the instructions are find equation line that passes through the given point with the given slope. Well, you need to write your slope in fraction form. Ours is our in fraction form. But if you had like 5, for example, you'd do 5 over 1. You can always create a fraction by putting it over 1. Now this is the change in y over the change in x. So we've got a plus 1 here, and this is our x value, and this is our y value. So we can get a second point by adding 1 to our y value, plus 1. Now our change in x is a plus 2, so I can get another point by adding 2 to my x value. So my second point, 4 plus 2 is 6, and 5 plus 1 is 6. So now we have two points, just like we did in the first example. So we can go enter those in our calculator. So I'm going to press my stat. I'm going to go into edit, enter on edit. And uh, to clean out these old numbers, you can press your delete key. And I'll clean them out. There's, other, there's uh, quicker ways to clean out them, the numbers if you've got a lot of them. And I'll press delete again, and delete again. Okay, we want to put our x values in L1. So I got 4 and 6, so 4 enter, 6 enter. I want to write her over to L2 and put my y values in here. So I got 5 and 6. Now again, you should be able to see the points 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, 6, 6, 6. Um, order doesn't matter. I, if this doesn't say 4, 5, if that said 4, 6 going across, then you know you screwed up putting your points in. Exit out, do second mode, and we'll do stat, right arrow to calc, and I'll choose 5, linear regression again. And then I'll press enter. And um, this gives us our, um, our answer. Because our answer is the form y is equal to ax plus b. But notice a is in dec decimal form. Now, 0.5 is pretty easy to switch. We probably wouldn't even have to go through and do this. Uh, you should be able to see what that is. But I'm going to go through these steps again to really reinforce it. 
Um, so I'm going to go to my bars, choose 5 for statistics, right arrow over the equation, and then I want to do enter on A, or you can press the 1. And then we'll do math, enter, enter. And of course it's equal to 1 half. So we've got Y is equal to 1 half, X, and B, I almost scrolled off where you can't see it, but B is 3. So our answer is Y is equal to 1 half X plus 3. And um, each time I, I'll tab over, I screw up my emulator here, but that's okay. Let's take a look at our third example. So it passes through the point 8, negative 1, and it's parallel to the line y is equal to 7x minus 2. Okay. And it says find equation line that passes through the given point is parallel to the given line. Well, this is in slope intercept form, and when it's in slope intercept form, your slope is whatever number is in front of your x. So slope is 7. Now, um, parallel to, parallel lines have same slopes. So if that slope is 7, the slope we're trying to find will be 7. But we do want to write it in fraction form, remember. So I'll put it as 7 over 1. Now this is a change in y over a change in x. And again, this is our x and this is our y. So positive 7. That means we're going to add 7 to our y value. Change in x is a positive 1. That means we're going to add 1 to our x value. So our second point, 8 plus 1 is 9, and negative 1 plus 7 is 6. So that's our second point. And now that we've got two points, we can do what we were doing on the first two examples. I'll do a stat, do enter on edit. I'll press delete to clean those out. And I'll write error over and press delete on those to clean them up. Okay, we're going to put our x values in L1. So I've got 8, enter, 9, enter. I'm going to write error over and put my y values in L2. So I got negative 1, enter, 6, enter. Okay, our first point, 8, negative 1, second point, 9, 6. So everything matches. I'll do second mode, exit out, do my stat, write arrow to calc, and choose 5 for linear regression, and press enter. And this time we didn't get any, um, any decimals, uh, so we just plug the A and B in, put A in, uh, put the 7 in here for the A, put the negative 57 in for the B, and we get Y is equal to 7X, was it minus 57? Yeah, minus 57. And that's our answer. Okay, let's look at our fourth example. This is through the point negative 2, 5, and it's perpendicular. 2, 3x plus 8y is equal to 4. Now we need to identify the slope of the that line, and so we want to solve for y. If you can get y by itself, then you can easily tell what your slope is. So I'm going to take 3x and move it to the right side, try and get y by itself. Remember when you take anything across your equals, your sign changes, so the positive 3x becomes a negative 3x plus 4. And still don't got the y by itself, so we'll divide both sides by 8. Specifically, I'll divide each piece separately by 8. Those 8's cancel, and we got y is equal to negative 3 8 x, plus, not that you need to do it, but 4 8 reduces to 1 half. So, we got this in slope intercept form. Slope intercept form is when you got y by itself. And if you have that, then your slope is whatever number is in front of your x, which is negative 3 8. Now, perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals. Now, what does that mean? Well, we start with the slope uh, we just found, and you want to write it in fraction form. Well, that's pretty easy on this one. It's already in fraction form. But if you had like 5, for example, you'd do 5 over 1. And then we want to flip it. Top goes to the bottom, bottom goes to the top. So negative 3 over 8 becomes 8 over negative 3. That's a reciprocal, reciprocal part. Reciprocal means fraction flipped. And then we want to change its sign. That's a negative 8 thirds, so we want to make it a positive 8 thirds. So our slope is going to be 8 thirds. Um, once you get used to um, a negative reciprocal, it's pretty easy to, to do it. You probably want to write all this out. 
Now keep in mind, this is a change in y over a change in x. So we've got a positive 8. So that means we'll come up to this point and we're going to add 8 to our y value. Now the bottom part is a positive 3, which means we're going to add 3 to the x value. And so we're going to have a second point. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1, comma, 5 plus 8 is 13. And now that we have two points, we'll do the same thing we just did on the uh, last problems. So I go into Stat, go into Edit, press Delete to clean those out, right arrow over, press Delete to clean those out, over and over. Okay, we're going to put our x values now 1. So I got negative 2, enter, and 1, enter. I'm going to right arrow over and put my y values uh, in L2. So I got 5, enter, and 13, enter. And you should be able to see your two points, negative 2, 5, negative 2, 5, 1, 13, 1, 13. We'll exit out, second mode, do stat, right arrow to calc, choose 5 for linear regression, and press enter. Well, we get decimals for both A and B, so um, we'll switch those to fraction. Okay, so to do A first, I'm going to press my bars, choose 5 for statistics, write her over the equation, choose 1 for A, and then do math, enter, enter. So A is 8 thirds. Well, let's find B. So go back into my bars, choose 5 for statistics, write her over the equation, and we want to choose 2 to choose B. And then I'll do math, enter, enter. And that gives us 31 thirds. So this is um, 31 thirds. So our answer is y is equal to 8 thirds x plus 31 thirds. And that's how you uh, can use the uh, TID2 uh, to find equations in line.